Good day dear students, this is a video on renal circulation which literally means blood supply to the kidneys, blood supply to the kidneys. The renal circulation has some peculiarities which differ from systemic circulation which we will be covering in this video. We will be talking about the functional anatomy of renal circulation. Anatomy not in detail but as related to physiology and then we will be talking about the peculiarities. How does the renal circulation differ from the systemic circulation? The peculiarities or how is the renal circulation unique in certain ways, certain characteristics. First, we begin with the functional anatomy. This is the main artery of the body, the aorta. From which arises the renal artery. Renal artery, the large renal artery arises from the aorta. This is a kidney. The kidney on the left side, it has two regions. An outer region called the cortex and an inner region called the medulla. An outer region called the cortex where lie the cortical nephrons and the inner region called the medulla where lie the medullary nephrons. And from the renal artery arises a very large artery which is for each lobe that is the interlobar artery which curves over these structures which are known as renal pyramids. You can see these are the renal pyramids. It curves over the renal pyramids. These are the pyramidal shaped structures, it curves over them and this is known as, these are known as the arcuate arteries. The arteries curving over the pyramids are known as arcuate arteries. So we have the interlobular artery, the arcuate artery. Beyond this, there is the interlobular artery, interlobular artery, the interlobular artery. Which gives rise to the efferent arteriole, the efferent arteriole. Efferent means incoming and then to the efferent arteriole before while it passes to the glomerular capillaries. So this is the efferent arteriole, incoming efferent arteriole which leads to the glomerular capillaries from which arises the efferent arteriole. From which arises the efferent arteriole. These are the glomerular capillaries and from which arises the efferent arteriole which leads to the peritibular capillaries which leads to the peritibular capillaries and this leads so this there is the renal artery interlobar artery arcuate artery interlobular artery efferent arteriole the glomerular capillaries the efferent arteriole and the peritibular capillaries. 
this is the arterial part and then there is from the capillaries you can see there are two sets of capillaries there is the interlobular vein the arcuate vein the renal the interlobar vein which leads to the renal vein and as you are all aware from the renal vein it leads to the renal pelvis into the ureter and then into the bladder inter renal vein renal pelvis ureter and the bladder so the peculiarities are one is that the kidney has a very large blood supply the kidney is the organ for homeostasis and it has a very large blood supply 1100 ml per minute or roughly 22% of the cardiac output 1100 ml per minute or roughly 22% of the cardiac output secondly it is a portal system meaning one set of capillaries leads to another set of capillaries you can see there is there are these glomerular capillaries which instead of leading into the venous side lead to another set of capillaries that is the peritubular capillaries in the renal system glomerular capillaries which leads into the peritubular capillaries the other organs in which such a system is are the liver and the pituitary are the liver and the pituitary gland liver and the pituitary gland third it is auto regulated that is it is maintained constant within reasonable limits within the blood pressure of 72 to 180 mm of mercury and the fourth thing is that the sodium consumption drives the blood flow rather than the blood flow driving the sodium consumption sodium consumption drives the blood flow rather than the blood flow driving the sodium consumption so sodium consumption drives the blood flow rather than the blood flow driving the sodium consumption so to sum up the kidneys have a large blood supply 1100 ml per minute or 22 percent of the cardiac output it is a portal system with two sets of capillaries the glomerular and peritubular capillaries it is auto regulated and the sodium consumption drives blood flow good day to all of you i am dr swapnil please subscribe to my channel and share the video